Fog football back again with another Fedio Moranzolo, as Jason Girullo said. But aye, it is Motherwell 2, Rangers 4. Second time reviewing this, because of course I've done it over on my channel, but it was a six goal thriller. There was loads of goals, VAR, red cards, and a pretty shite performance for about half the Rangers team, if I'm being honest. But. We have to kick off with the game kicked off troops, don't we? And the game, of course, kicked off with Johnston being played. Now, this is probably the most controversial moment of the match, I guess you could say, whether it was on or not. Some people saying the line doesn't look straight. Some people saying that Sam Smith is straighter than the line, which controversial indeed. But again, it did look... A, it did, did they make it eye right? You're like, fuck, that looks off, right? And then when they draw the line, it's like, well, that line doesn't look right. Personally, I think it's... I, I, to me, it's off, right? It looks off. But the lines make it look on. And, and then people go, like, what's on then? What's a few hours? What's blah, blah, blah. But we've seen in, like, the Premier League, I think Mane against Everton a couple of years ago, like, that was a joke. The line's there with his shoulder fucking blade. And again, we're just going to get these sort of decisions. But, I mean, people are going to be... I mean, they're going to be split either way. Oh, that was all right. Oh, that wasn't all right. It was definitely not the worst VAR decision, personally. But see when it's this close, like back in the day, this would have been level, all right? So let's just say it was level. Mother will take the lead. Rangers are pretty shite. Monstrum has a shot for distance. Goldson was awful in this game, Troops, by the way. Um, and then... Alright, we get a free kick, Tav steps up, Tav does what Tav does, man, Davy Martindale selling gear on the side, uh, but yeah, could Liam Kelly do better? I think Liam Kelly could absolutely do better here, but after this, it's it's just a pretty shite half a fip up to this point, I mean, I know the headlines will be six goal thriller, red card, I mean, there was no Rangers penalty, so, you know, the obsessed can take that from the game. Let's go into the second half and let's enjoy a picture of our favourite Scottish actor, Tommy Flanagan. Uh, who's lying in a hospital bed in episode 8 or is it, uh, it's episode 8 of season 2 of Sons of Anarchy so uh, you, there you go right great guy love wee Tommy Flanagan Jackie boy but yeah back to the task at hand right I think I've said that 10 times but does it matter does it really matter you guys love the content Scooby Doo into the second half so Carlos scores great ball for Tav right you know is he, is he aware of it I mean Ali McCoy's had like a 20 minute debate with himself whether it hit his ears, his nose, the back of his dome, the front of his forehead. For, the front of his forehead. Well, we have to hit some part. Erdrate 2 0 up. Predict the Erdrate 2 0 on the channel. So make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe for a wee Erdrate prediction. Right? What did I predict? 5 0 Erdrate would beat Peterhead. Mad. But after this, right? It's Cantwell. Lovely, jubbly ball to, uh, to Antonio Cholak, who just. Doesn't pass to Sakala, and like I said in my review, right, you can almost accept that, right, if he shoots and it's a good save for Liam Kelly, but he shoots and it's literally 10 yards away from the net. And, like, when I say 10 yards away from the net, like, it's not even an exaggeration. It's, it's awful. Like, obviously, right, he is focused that much on the ball, he's kind of lost track of where the net is. Well, that's, that would be my excuse if I was Cholak. Fuck knows what his excuse will be, right? But... To me, that's unforgivable. It is like it. And then the game went two each, right? Say that game finished two each. So they, there would be no one else's fault but Antonio Chulak because 3 1 kills it, right? And two each brought it alive. Even though I did say my review, like, I never really felt like we'd, we'd lose this game. It just seemed like we'd always get goals. Like, no matter, see, like, unless other playing Celtic, it seems like when we concede, we always just seem to scrape a win under Bill, even when we don't play well, but. I uh, after this though we basically we get the worst defend at set PCR time, just a bunch of bodies. McGregor doesn't come out. It's like what are you what are you doing? Honestly, I don't understand any of this, right? So that flies in the back of the net from Mugabe. Uh then pretty much straight after this we get an attack with about twenty shots on goal and then Cantwell finally gets his first Rangers goal, so I'm really happy for Cantwell, but this was just weird though at the same time because like you've got a VAR check for offside and handball but we don't get any replays. It's like, all right. <laughs> like why is that? Why can't we get any of that? Don't understand it whatsoever. But then Tillman makes it 4-2. Brilliant ball from Morelos. Finds Tillman into the back of the net. 4-2. And there you go, guys. That is the game. Rangers win. They 
close it to within six points. I believe it's still nil nil at Celtic Park, but we all know that's going to end up Celtic winning. I believe I predicted five nil. So, I and he predicted three one. So yeah, make sure you check out the review show. I don't know if he'll review any games later. Probably not because Hearts are getting beat by. Aberdeen, which means he'll go into hibernation when it comes to Fed making, baby. But until next time, peace.